Good morning to you. As we begin this day, I'd like for us to think about something that Paul wrote to the church at Rome. In the 14th chapter, beginning with verse 1, it says, Accept other believers who are weak in the faith, and don't argue with them about what they think is right, what they think is wrong. For instance, one person believes it's all right to eat anything and everything, but another believer with a sensitive conscience will eat only vegetables. Those who feel free to eat anything must not look down on those who won't or don't. And those who don't eat certain foods must not condemn those who do. For God has accepted them, not the food they eat. Who are you to condemn someone else's way of life? when you must examine your own first. You cannot judge someone else's household. Then in verse 5, in the same way some think one day is more holy than another, while others think every day is just alike. You should each be fully convicted that whichever day you choose is acceptable to worship your Lord. Those who worship the Lord on a special day do it to honor him. And that is the key, honoring our Lord. We cannot do anything about anyone else. We cannot change another person's mind. We cannot change another person's spirit. It takes God to do that. We cannot change a person's convictions. Only the Holy Spirit can do that. It says we have to honor, first of all, God in our own lives. As we honor him, we learn to accept through obedience what he wants of us. We have to learn to give grace to individuals who are different than we. To offer the hope that they will come to know the type of acceptance and grace that we can display to them, that they can display to us, that Christ has displayed to all of us. For we were yet sinners, he loved us. That means this. Our primary purpose is to come to share what we have known and what we've come to know and experience the love of Jesus. How we relate to others is indicative of the love that we have with Jesus and the love level that we've been able to accept from him. That's a challenge to us. Paul says to the church at Rome, learn to honor your heavenly father first. Love to respect what he wants of you. Because in so doing, then it frees you and me up to let other people be wrong. God has to help them to understand that they're wrong, not us. But we want to reprove them. Paul, early in his ministry, was bent on reproving people and helping them to come to understand what he had come to understand he had to learn the responsibility that it takes to give control over to the Holy Spirit and God. Pray with me. Father, we walk in this day. We disagree with so many people. We even disagree with people in our family who do not see life or opinions as we. Help us to realize not to take it personally and not to condemn them. Sometimes people have to come to grips with where they are with you first before they can come to grips with other people. Father, thank you for giving us wisdom that we would share that wisdom with others, that we can be at peace in our own life to offer the peace that passes all understanding to others. Amen. I want you to have a great day today. I want you to think about someone that perhaps maybe you've lost a friendship with because of an opinion. Was it worth it? Was it worth losing that friendship? I don't think so. I challenge you, make a phone call. Tell that person, you're more important to a cotton than a cotton-picking opinion. 
that you're important to me than what we think politically, socially, dogma, theology, biblical interpretation. Does it really matter? The only thing we have to agree on is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, our Lord. That's the foundation of everything. See you tomorrow. God bless you.